welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to replace the hard drive in a 2010 Mac Mini. We've already shut down, unplugged, and placed our Mac Mini on a soft, static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to turn the Mac Mini upside down so that we can access the bottom cover. To open the bottom cover, place your thumbs in the rounded indentations and gently rotate it counterclockwise until the white dots line up. Then, you can lift out the bottom cover and set it aside. The next step is to remove the memory modules found on the right-hand side of the Mini. To remove the memory, gently push out on the metal retainer clips until the memory module pops up. You can then pull it free. Repeat the process for the second module. Use your Torx T6 screwdriver to loosen the three captive screws holding the fan in. Lift the fan up just enough so you can detach the power connector from the logic board using your nylon pry tool. Once detached, you can set the fan aside. Next, remove the Torx T6 screw holding the cowling in place. Use your nylon pry tool to gently push the cowling out, then remove it. To remove the antenna grate, you'll first need to remove these two Torx T8 screws. Next, we need to remove these two screws. They're 2mm hex screws and should be removed using the appropriate hex key. However, if you don't have one, you can also use your Torx T8 screwdriver as long as you're careful not to strip out the inner corners. Pull the antenna grate out just far enough for you to see the attached cable's connection on the left. Use your nylon pry tool to gently disconnect the airport antenna wire. You may then remove the antenna grate completely. There are six cables to disconnect. The first three are temperature sensors. Use the flat end of your pry tool to gently lift them out of their sockets. Next, disconnect the power connector, also by gently lifting up with your nylon pry tool. Finally, detach the two SATA ribbon connectors. Now we need to get the logic board out of the way. First, remove the final 2mm screw from the rim of the case. Next, remove the two Torx screws holding the logic board in place. The one in the upper right is a T8. The one in the lower left is a T6. Place a small screwdriver in each of these two holes. Push down and pull back on the screwdrivers, sliding the logic board back far enough for us to access the hard drive. Now we can pull the hard drive up and out of the Mac Mini. We'll need to remove the hardware from the original drive so we can reuse it on the new drive. First, remove the two Torx T6 mounting screws. Next, gently peel off the drive covering, being careful not to tear it. It's held in place with a mild adhesive, but you'll also notice it's taped down in spots as well. Gently detach the heat sensor, noting its placement, as you'll need to reattach it to the same spot on the new drive. Finally, you can remove the SATA connector. You can install any 2.5 inch SATA drive, conventional or solid state. As you can see, both drive types have the same SATA connectors and mounting holes. In this particular video, we'll be installing a standard hard drive, but the instructions are identical for an SSD. First, attach the SATA connector. It's keyed so it can only go in one way. Next, attach the back drive covering. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stay in place. Don't attach it completely though. 
Next, you'll want to reattach the heat sensor in the same place on the new drive as it was on the old drive. You should now be able to hold the heat sensor's wire in place with the adhesive cover and tape. Replace the two Torx T6 mounting posts and you're ready to put the new drive into the Mac Mini. Being careful not to pinch any wires, line up the two mounting posts with the two notches in the Mac Mini. It's easiest to gently position the drive until you feel it's seated in place. Once the drive is fully seated, gently push the logic board back in until it latches, being careful not to trap any connectors underneath. Now you can secure the board into place. The long Torx T6 screw goes in the lower left corner. The shorter Torx T8 goes in the upper right corner. Finally, reattach the 2mm hex screw. Next, reattach all the connectors you undid earlier. Gently push them into their appropriate socket until they snap into place. Reattach the airport cable to its connector. You should only need to gently push on it until it clicks together. Align the antenna grate carefully. Then, replace the two Torx T8 screws. You can then attach the two 2mm hex screws. If you're using a Torx T8 screwdriver to screw these in, be extremely careful not to strip out the inside. Replace the plastic cowling by sliding it into place and then replacing the Torx T6 screw in the lower corner. Reattach the fan cable. Then use your Torx T6 screwdriver to tighten the fan into place. When replacing the memory, note that there's an off-center notch in the memory module that needs to line up with a pin in the memory slot. Slide the first memory module into the lower slot until it's fully seated. Then, push down so that the module is held flat. Repeat the process for the second module in the upper slot. Place the bottom cover so that the two white dots are lined up. Rotate the bottom cover clockwise until the bottom locks into place. You may now flip the Mac Mini back over, plug it in, and turn it on.